Why is mental health and well-being important to me? Uh, well, it's important to me because it's important for everybody. It's important that everyone has good mental health and good well-being. I mean, you know, I think it's, it's interesting, like the society we live in, there's so many things that uh, deter you from having a healthy lifestyle. Diet, food, sleep, like we're all just workaholics. We're constantly grinding, constantly looking at our phone. Our posture sucks. Like everything about it is is um, is sort of conditioned into our everyday. You wake up, you go right for the phone. Like um, so, it's kind of interesting because there's really no, there's very little counterculture that tells you to not do those things or to take a minute and breathe, take a minute and stretch, take a, a day and and uh, you know, maybe detox from anything electrical, you know what I mean? Like just go walk, have a conversation with somebody, look in their face. Um, and those things I think, while we're getting more and more connected as a society, I think the thing that's really interesting is we're also sort of getting a little bit distance uh, from one another. And um, that to me all really rallies behind uh, you know, people's mental health and, and awareness and, and sort of you know, practicing good things that actually help you be a, a better person and have a, a bit more, um, capacity to not just do the standard issue stuff and all of a sudden one day you, you're laying on your deathbed and you're like, man, I, I should have done this, I should have done that. It's like to do it now and be aware of that. So there's really not anything, well, there are things, but there's not enough out there that, that uh, uh, really focuses people's attention on doing that versus, you know, swiping left or right or whatever, you know. How many times does your body tell you like, yo man, don't do that, whatever, and you just go ahead and you dive into it anyway, and then you feel the repercussions of it. So it's for me, it's, it's listening to what my body's telling me. I think what most artists do is they, they put their art and craft above everything else, above them themselves, and while there's a certain level of you kind of have to do that to stick out and, you know, and show other people sort of how dedicated you are to your craft, but I think we all, you know, the starving artist is sort of the, you know, the archetype of that is the no sleep, bags under the eyes, constant coffee, you know, let me just spent, you know, stress. And um, that stuff comes with a job anyway. So if you can sort of find a way to, to not have that happen, you're, you know, you're gonna be better off. And I think it's crucial. And it's like, and here's the funny thing, like when I got into this, nobody, uh, there's no handbook that they give you that be like, hey, you know, when you're out on the road and you have a rider and every day it's filled the same day, you know, or next day with the same stuff, you're always gonna have a full bottle of whatever your poison is there. Every day you're gonna be able to crack it. How do you deal with that? How do you put that into context and go, okay, well, just cause it's there doesn't mean I need it. And no one really tells you that. So you have to sort of roll through the punches of getting beat up by that and hopefully get out alive to realize okay, moderation, and that's kind of the thing, man. Moderation is key in all this. It's cool to party, it's cool to do whatever, but like too much of anything can wreck you. I think it's crucial for artists to, to help um, spread you know, awareness about mental health. I mean, you know, look, I, I think we're all kind of aware of it, and it's all something that has been happening for a long time, and people just sort of write it off as, oh, that's just part of the, the rock star image, or the road, the life on the road, but I mean, you know, people who I came up with, Chester Bennington being a, a you know, good friend of mine, you know, here's a cat who, I didn't see that coming, you know what I mean? I know he had demons, I know he had issues he was dealing with, um, but I never thought it would go that far. You know, how do you, how do you, where's the outlet for somebody like that? And also, it's a situation of like, when also, when you're a, you know, if you get if you get to the level where he was at, you're sort of out on a, the tree starts here and we're all racing up, but once you go out on a branch and you're really out on your own, there's very few people that you can sort of relate to in regard to that. And there, so it, it ends up that the, the, while everyone's gonna say, hey, I'm here for you, but really how many people are actually really there for you when you're that far out on the branch? There aren't that many options and there needs to be more because I mean, you're dealing with someone who's taking a complete trek over here that nobody really knows what's over there. And when they're in the middle of it, it's like white snow. Like, there's no tracks to follow in. You're just really out on your own. And if there are more beacons out there to help you to hang on to that um, allow you to sort of decompress from that or, or transfer any negative energy you have, like, we need more of that. And I don't know if that's within, you know, I mean, there's a million different ways to do that, but I don't know if it's just getting everyone to just raise awareness to be like, hey man, you know, stopping somebody and going like, hey, you need to talk, can I pull you aside, man, are you good? Like, no, but are you really good? 
like, hey, I tell you what, after the show, I'm just gonna come and, and you know, I know I got shit I gotta do, but I'm just gonna come to, the, you, to, to you where you are because you look like you could use this. And, and that being super paramount, as opposed to, ah, he's got this, or oh, they got this, oh, it's covered, it's cool, I'll see him tomorrow. Because you never know, man. And so I think, you know, as an artist, it's important to always extend a hand. Um, and also, you know, with fans and, and people you're interacting with, never, you know, never give negative energy or try your hardest to like always have an open, embracing, um, you know, outlook to anybody. You know what I mean? Anyone who's calling out or reaching out, because you never know, man. Like, you're one day of like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on my phone, some shit's happening. And that one person, there was so much about their interaction with you that they needed that you didn't give to them and all of a sudden they go do something crazy. Like the, the littlest things you don't pay attention to. I think it's just about sort of having your third eye open and really you know, knowing what to do when that, when that eye is open. Some people just don't even have their eye open at all though. You know what I mean? So it's about sort of like opening your eyes and, and understanding that we're all connected and, and it's, you know, you could help save people if you just are a little more aware of not just being in your own zone, but like, you know, everything around you. I rise so I can actually help other people rise. I rise so I can lift others up.